First things first, I know a lot of you guys follow the channel for the Instagram growth content that I post. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I've got something major coming in terms of Instagram growth. Over the past few weeks, I've been putting together an ebook and it's a thick ebook, man, showing all of my secrets, all of my hacks in depth, every strategy that I've used to grow my page by 100X over the last year. It's not quite done yet. I'm almost there with it. It's probably gonna come out in the next two or three weeks. But man, it's a really good book that I put together. Just 46 pages chock full of good content. So I'll only price it around six, seven, eight bucks and it'll probably be available on Amazon is what I'm looking at right now. But definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. That's gonna be probably the best piece of content that I've ever made. But with that said, I kinda wanted to take a step back and talk about something a little bit more personal this week. and. That's because the title is not clickbait. I'm, I'm actually going broke and I've actually been kind of wrestling with stuff a little bit more than I've been showing on the internet. Let me first start off by saying that I know my problems are first world problems. I know that there are millions, if not billions of people out there who have it tougher than me. I'm not trying to throw a pity party. I'm not trying to say I have it super bad. I love my life and I, I thank God every day for it. As a lot of you guys on the channel know, I graduated last April almost exactly a year ago. And since I graduated, um, I've looked at a lot of job opportunities that I could take. And a lot of these jobs uh, would offer me between 20 and 40,000 a year. And I've just been very reluctant or resistant to the idea of getting a job out of college. So for the past year, I've really been going hard on YouTube and Instagram, learning the algorithms, growing my pages and trying to really make this dream a reality that, that can make money for me and my family. And so far, I haven't made a dime off of YouTube or Instagram. It's, it's only been me putting in money, whether that's you know just spending money on food to eat so I can keep doing this or putting money into different services, advertisements, whatever it is. Now, the reason that this has been my dream is obviously because it's fun. I mean, it's, it's cool work to do, but also because there's ownership in it. This is about to get really radical and I know a lot of people are going to get mad, but I really view the world kind of in two terms. I think there's the people who own what they work for, the owners, and then the people that don't own what they work for, the workers. And it doesn't make you a bad person if you're in the worker camp at all. But the fact of the matter is you're getting exploited to a certain degree when you're a worker. I mean, just, just think about it logically. If a company is bringing you in and paying you $40,000 a year to come and do marketing for them, let's say, why is that? It's not because you're bringing in 40,000 that they're gonna pay you 40,000. It's because you're bringing in more than they have to pay out. No company is going through all the work of getting HR, possible lawsuits, all the stuff that comes with employing people just to break even on an employee. The fact of the matter is when you're employed by somebody who owns their company, you're getting exploited to a certain degree. There's money you're making them that you're not seeing. And so it's been my mission to say, how can I be an owner so that I can get what I'm truly worth? And how can I own what I work for so that one day I can hand it off to my wife and kids? I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel, but this, this is some real stuff is, my dad died at 45 years old of a heart attack. I think it was his third heart attack that got him. Um, I've got a grandpa on the other side too, my mom's side. Um, and that grandpa died in his 50s of a heart attack. So it's, it's a real concern that I have to keep in my mind is like, hey, I might not be here past 45, 55 to provide for my wife and kids one day. So I need to think different. I need to think about how can I make something that's gonna provide money for them even when I'm not here. And obviously life insurance is one way to do that, but but I'm talking about a real business that one day I can hand off the reins to my wife and or kids and say, hey, when I'm not here, you guys can still provide for yourself off of what, off of the foundation that I've laid for you. So that's, that's the real reason I wanna build a YouTube channel and an Instagram following is so that I can take this money and start to branch out and build other businesses and so that I can continue to make video assets that will one day still be pulling in money when I'm gone. But obviously the, the problem with that is when you're starting a business or when you're, you're trying to start on social media is it takes time, man. It takes time to get the ball rolling, to get that momentum, to get those followers to then make money. 
So just being transparent and honest with you guys, um, my net worth has decreased by five figures over the last year um, as I've reduced my hours to just a part-time job that I work and I've really been focusing on this. I've been putting a lot of money into it and not seeing anything back yet. And I'm not complaining. That's, that's, that's the life that I'm choosing. I'm choosing the hard path. But that's where I'm at right now. Ultimately, that's part of the equation, right? Is if you want to do something that not a lot of people can do or have done, you're going to have to sacrifice and you're going to have to work like not a lot of people will. And I'm ready for that. That's what comes with the territory. You know, if it's God's will, um, it'll happen, you know? And I'm just trying to trying to put the skills in my favor so that God really wants to make it happen for me. And once I, once I start getting the ball rolling with money on Instagram and YouTube, dude, I have no question in my mind that I'll be able to to invest that money and move that money properly. I'm not stupid with money guys for the most part. I'm pretty intelligent with knowing how to invest money and make money, but it's just getting to the point where I can make that money to begin with. Now I say all of that to say, um, I just got a new job. Uh, it's only a part-time job, so I'm still gonna be making content here on the channel, still posting on Instagram, but I got a part-time job that I think is gonna be so helpful, helpful for my resume and for building skills in the marketing kind of realm getting more social media experience. So it's an opportunity that I see as an investment, right? Like I don't really want to just take the paycheck and work for a paycheck because it's all temporary. As soon as you stop working, when you're working for a paycheck, the paycheck stops. But I think it's something that will have real value. There's a, there's a bike shop pretty close to where I live um, that hired me to do their marketing for the next few months. Um, so I'm going to handle all of their social media, advertising, making flyers, getting the word out about those guys, um, trying to bring them sales so that it's something I'm excited about, but I really think it's going to bolster my resume in a big way, man. And I really, I've been thinking about it lately. I feel like there's not a lot of people that are my age, 25 years old, interested in marketing that have the resume that I have, man. You guys know I'm decent with the video edits. I know how to use Photoshop pretty well and Canva pretty well. Um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm about to finish an ebook, making me a self-published author. I have brought entire products to market on Amazon. Me and my buddy have gone all the way um, through the through channels with Chinese suppliers back in the day. Um, negotiated prices. We got 500 units overseas, custom branded. I've sold multiple products on Amazon. I'm familiar with advertising on Facebook, Google, Amazon, all three of the big ones right there. Um, Again, I have my degree in communication, specifically advertising and PR, but I don't really have any experience um, in a tangible marketing workplace, which I think if I want to open a marketing business in the future, might make me slightly less intriguing to somebody who's looking to hire me for marketing. So this is, this is why I'm taking this job. It's going to be a short-term thing, probably three or four months. And it's going to allow me to get some, some tangible experience with a different kind of business than just a personal brand or products that I'm selling. I'm working for somebody else doing their marketing. And when you combine that with the fact that I, I'm building all of this YouTube experience, I'm building all of this experience growing pages on Instagram. I mean, my page right now is getting close to 25,000 followers. And I did most of that in just the last 12 months. So when you kind of take all of that into account, it's like, how am I not? How do I not have one of the fattest marketing resumes out there for a 25 year old, right? Also in my fraternity, I, I ran the PR for the fraternity for a year. I was vice president and then president of the fraternity. I have experience leading people, leading teams. Not just, not just the shit that they put on paperwork, but like actually a group of dudes who are up your ass every day, right? Like I have these tangible skills. So this is one of those things that I think is gonna help me just kind of round off that corner on my resume, which is why I took it. I still intend very much to go full bore on YouTube and Instagram. Look, I'm still trying to go all the way in on ownership. It's like Nipsey Hussle talks about is you got to own your masters, man. You got to own what you work for. I say all of that to say content might be a little bit slower for the next month, but I'm still aiming to put out one good video per week, uh, either on Tuesdays or Fridays. So thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you for watching the content. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'm going to keep this channel alive and I'm definitely going to circle back and start going crazy with the uploads again. But God bless you guys and thank you as always, man.